Hi everyone, this is Master Trainer Margaret, and for today's Tuesday Tea Tap Tip, I wanted to cover the move Pretzel Twist. Pretzel Twist is on the Target Pop DVD, it's also on the Brain Body Fitness series, but of course she goes a little bit faster in the Brain Body Fitness series. So today I'm going to be teaching it to you very slowly, give you some of my best pointers for this move. It's very powerful, it really um, works your core, it gets your lymphatic system going, because anytime that you are working you know, top to bottom, side to side of your fascia, and you're twisting your spine, it can really get that lymphatic system going and kind of work out any kinks in the hose of your lymphatic system. So I'm really excited to share this move with you. Let's go ahead and get to the tips. So all you need for this move is yourself and a mat or a soft surface like a carpet to do this move on. So let's go ahead and lay down on our side. That's how this move starts out. So you're gonna be laying down and you're gonna be resting your hand in your head. So you're gonna be laying down completely on your side. Make sure, go ahead and lift up both of your hips and make sure that you're not scrunching your hips up there. I like to put my thumb at the base of my skull and then let my other fingers just relax onto my head and that kind of stabilizes your head while you're doing this move. Now, for the first part of this move, you will have your bottom leg extended with toes pointing straight then you're gonna have your other leg up knee towards the ceiling. The first thing I want you to notice here is if your knee is towards the opposite wall. So you want that knee to be back, 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 back as best as you can. You want it to be behind the shoulder. If you think about it, this move is like doing a hoedown laying on your side. I know, really, <laughs> you're like, what? But it is because your knee is aiming, just like in hoedowns, you want your knee aiming behind your shoulder. And right here, our knee is aiming behind our shoulder for this move. The next thing I wanted to mention is how to perform this move for more fascia. So you're gonna do a bear claw with your bottom hand. So just pull back the knuckle, stretch to thumbs. And instead of putting it right here, when we're doing reps, I'll go ahead and do a rep so you can see, because you're gonna be bringing the knee down, bringing it back in, and then you're gonna go pointing to the sky and down. Instead of leaving your hand here, I saw Teresa do this one time at a retreat, and it was a game changer for me. You press your forearm into your inner thigh, and then boom, you get more lat activation. Just feel that. Think forearm into the inner thigh, inner thigh into the forearm, and you should feel right there start to activate. That's your lats. That's a good thing. So instead of having your, your arm come down to the ground, I like to go, back and your thumbs like pointing at the ground, pointing that toe on that leg. Then you're bringing it back over and then I put my arm here and then say ribs up tight and lats and then extend that foot and bring it back down. So it's over, thumb pointing down to the ground. Can you notice how I'm keeping this level here? And then bring it back in and you can bring it right there. And then you think press, 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 inner thigh, forearm as you bring that leg up. And then inner thigh press to the forearm as you bring that leg back down. So you would do that for eight reps. The next part of this move, you will go ahead and switch. So you're going to bring the bottom leg in and you're gonna straighten that leg out with a pointed toe. This next part, you're gonna come up onto your side and you're going to be bringing this hip. I actually like how people put their hand on their hip and feel that hip. You're going to be bringing this hip. So if you were thinking about it right here, it's poking down into the floor. You're thinking like it's like this. your hip is a nail and you're driving it through the ground. You're pulling that there. You should already start to feel that on that uh, oblique and transverse abs right there. Now the next part, you will be bringing your shoulders square as much as you can. So hip down, shoulders go square to the side and then you're gonna have your hands on top of each other. Your hands will be like this on the ground with your elbow underneath your shoulder, underneath your armpit if you can. Now, the next part of this part of the move, you will be doing bear claw. I like to do both of my hands in bear claw, so both these hands here be in bear claw. You're gonna be bringing your elbow up to the ceiling and your knee in, and you're gonna keep that level as you can pulling and thinking ribs up really tall and then you think stretch, 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 all the way out and then right here, gently tuck your chin and then think like someone's pulling you. And right here, focus on this forearm. Watch this side of my abs here. Pull, pull, 
pull. You are getting a huge stretch of your abs and your entire core muscles there and your glutes. So you're going to be coming in, elbow comes up, look at that elbow. And then you're going to take extend, 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 like you're a little crane getting extended out. And then think pull from that hand and through those toes. Coming in and then reaching and letting it be pulling, 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 pulling. And then one more time, elbow stays up, you're placing it, you're not swinging it, you're really going slow, you're really thinking, activating the core as your shoulders square, your hips square, and your leg and your arm pull. Now bring that hand down. One visual tool that really helps people, have you ever seen, you can Google this if you haven't, or not familiar, the Levi and Strauss Gene Company. If you've ever seen their logo, it's quite ridiculous, but it's a pair of pants and it has a donkey on one side and a donkey on the other side. And it's like demonstrating how powerful the jeans are because they have two donkeys pulling them apart, but they're staying intact. I want you to visualize when you're doing this pulling part, I want you to think like somebody has, or a, a mule in this case, or a donkey, like on that logo, that you're being pulled by two donkeys from your hand through your toes. Just that visual sometimes helps people to really feel what I'm talking about there. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed these tips. Um, you can tag someone below if they like T-Tap or you think that they would like this move. And of course, please feel free to comment below. I'm always interested to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.